Hey everybody, it's Tony Rohr, Rohr Dairy Productions. Um, I'm actually at home. The lighting's not the greatest here. Um, my wife had neck surgery, so I, uh, I'm sticking around a little closer to home. Now I do have some people in the house that are helping us out. I'm um, doing something a little different today. I'm gonna take my crack at a how-to video. I enjoy mechanic stuff, so I'm gonna take a crack at this. I am working on my 2000, or I should say the dairies, 2011 GMC Sierra pickup truck. It has a 5.3 liter V8 in it. Um, now it is the truck that I drive. Um, this check engine light had come on the other day and I really didn't know what was going on. Uh, I was driving and everything seemed to be normal and then I noticed my oil pressure gauge was pegged at zero. And I do know that there's, or was aware of uh, the oil pressure sensor or sending unit, whatever they call it, uh, was an issue with these. So I looked it up on YouTube and I found a video on there, very helpful. Um, maybe more so than this is gonna be. It might be a flop, um, but we shall see. Um, I'm kind of flying, it's at a spot, it's hard to see. Um, here is the sensor. Um, and there's also a little screen that came with it. Um, I was told by some people you might not even need to do it. Might not even be one in the truck. Um, but we're going to find out. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Alan Harnish from Harnish Farm Services. They, he runs a garage as well. Uh, he gave me a special socket um, that fits over the sensor. Um, it's, I believe it's... The sensor is set up in a hex formation. Um, I think I might even read in the comments of the video that I watched. Now this says an inch and a sixteenth. Um, I think on there they had mentioned 27 millimeter. I don't know if a 27 millimeter socket, like just a regular socket would work. Um, but anyhow, Alan gave me a special socket for it. Um, and I was under the impression that video I watched the guy used a special handled ratchet and whatnot but people on in the comment section said that uh, you can use a regular ratchet I guess it's just two I thought it was three but there's two little rubber I don't know if I'd call them grommets but there's for lack of better terms there's two little nipples or whatever you call or like little ball joints that would go in those rubber things um, there's hooks in the back there that these two things go into and then you drop it down on these. If you're centered up with these, that helps to line these up. So that's everything. Um, but yeah, you gotta pull this off to start the job as well. I don't think I shared that. So I am gonna do my best to show you where it's at. Um, I don't know if you see the speck of blue in there. That's the, the plug end. That's probably the, might even be the well, I don't know if that's the button I need to push in. I don't think it is, but that's the plug end that goes into it. I need to reach around the end of the motor there to get to it. Um, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, my truck's still a little bit warm, so maybe it's too hot, uh, but I'm going to give it a go here. Like, I can't really see a whole lot. Um, so there's this little white clip. Uh, that gets pushed down. Um, oh, I don't know if you remember the little blue squares I seen. That's just like part of the plug housing um, assembly. And actually, you can't, I don't think we'll be able to see the plug anymore. Um, in there, kind of in the center of the screen, there is the top of the sensor. That's the outlet where the plug is in. But the blue dots that I, the, the blue squares that I had seen earlier, um, that's just kind of part of the plug assembly. Um, but this white, this gray clip is sort of at the top of the plug. I had to pop it up and then I was able to push the spring loaded tab that unlatched the, the plug from the sensor. So I'm hoping that, I'm hoping, I don't know for sure, but I'm hoping that was the toughest part of this. Um, I'm not sure about that screen. That could be interesting to pull out and put back in. Um, if it's in there, I was told that some have it and some don't. I'm not sure. It'd be nice to know where the years started. 
that, that did or didn't, but uh, mine's a 2011, which I'm not even sure if the newer ones might be very similar as well as this one. But um, anyhow, now I'm going to put the socket on it. It's kind of hard to video me doing this. I'm uh, going to just explain it after I do it. Um, I don't have the proper setup to take video, and it's tight quarters. So I'll be in the way if I'm trying to tape it. All right, I got the little bugger out of there. Um, I went in with a socket and the extension. Um, I went in the wrong way the first time. And when I went to retrieve the socket and the extension, a socket came undone from the extension. Fortunately, it went the whole way to the floor. I was nervous. <laughs> it's going to be like, oh, Alan, uh, I need to get you another socket. But So we retrieved this guy. Got the new one here. I'm going to attempt to go in with a pick and see if I can pull a screen out. Um, I watched another guy do this on YouTube, and he... In, his, in the comments section after the original video, he sort of had an update that said he had to pull it out again and go back for the screen because that it worked briefly, but then it quit again, and it's because the screen apparently was clogged or had debris on it, whatever. Um, I don't know what that says about the overall health of the engine if it's clogged up with stuff, but I'm going to briefly try that. I'm not sure how successful I'll be. I'm sure i got to be careful as far as getting dirt in. Um, I know I mentioned about this clip. Maybe we should redo this part of the video. I had to pull this clip off, and I wish I could show you the plug. I don't have the right tools for that or the camera setup, but this is sort of a safety clip. I was able to then push in a tab to un unplug it. Really all this is, I, I mean, you really don't need it in there. I, in the case that it, it, it's not gonna magically come undone. Once that thing's clipped on there, I mean, it's, I guess it's if a gremlin gets in there or something and tries to undo your oil pressure sensor plug, but I don't see that happening. So I don't even know if I'm going to put that back in place, um, especially if I don't retrieve the screen and I do have trouble. But I'm going to do my best to retrieve a screen if there is one. All right, I might be able to show a little bit of this. Um, I don't know if you can see the writing on my socket. There, it's in the center of the screen there, kind of. Um, when I put the, when I pulled the old one out, it had, did not have thread locker on. The new one does. There's really not. So I, I put the extension with a swivel on it, on the socket end. Um, it's like a five inch extension. The reason I did that is I broke the old one loose. I mean, just barely, you can get a click out of the ratchet. Um, and once it was broke loose, I was able to pull it out with my fingers. This one here has thread locker on, or at least it appears like it does. And I'm gonna have to fight a little harder to go back in. I did not get a screen out. I almost felt like the pick was scratching against it, but it would not let loose. So I'm gonna let it and cross my fingers. So this is the setup I used here. Got the swivel on the end. Um, my socket decided to stay in there. Um, needed to stop for a drink. Um, I'm sweating and it's like 40 degrees outside. Guess I should open the doors, but so I'm gonna try to retrieve that thing. I don't know why it's tight. Hopefully I don't have to go back on with a ratchet, but we'll see. All right, we're gonna see what happens here. We have the I retrieved my socket. Um, I just had to get the extension on and wiggle a little bit. It was pinched or wedged somehow. All right. Hmm. <laughs> so. This is gonna be a video attempt that failed because this sensor still does not work. Hmm. Cut. Okay, so I stand corrected. I'm not sure. I don't typically look at my fuel pressure gauge when I start my truck. I'm usually in and out of here and 
um, probably bad on me. So the thing came to life here after a minute or 30 seconds or whatever. Um, there we go. I shut her down, restarted it, and uh, we have fuel pressure, or yeah, oil pressure. Now I see my check engine light still on. I might have to unhook the battery for that, or it might go out after a while driving it. Um, so, yeah. I was a little bit bummed out there. I'm like, are you serious? But. There we go. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right. Well, I, I'll admit I had looked at some videos online and uh, got some ideas as well. But there's another how to change your oil pressure switch or sensor on your uh, 5 3 liter GM motor. Um, this is a 2011 GMC. I'm sure a Chevy, Yukon, Tahoe, 5 3 would be the same. Um, and I'm sure there's multiple years it would be the same. Things to know, a white clip in the plug, I popped that out. I did not put it back in, it's sort of a safety clip. Um, I think I said that already. Um, I, I don't know how it would come undone. I mean, yeah. Like I said, a gremlin gets back in there or something, which I guess crazier things have happened. Uh, having a socket that fits um, works well. I used a swivel to go back together because they had some thread dressing or blocker or whatever on it. It was a little bit of resistance error and I couldn't get much of a turn out of the extension I had. There wasn't much room to swing the ratchet and the swivel helped that out. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful for somebody. Um, if not, I'm sorry, but uh, I guess if you don't like tight quarters, I mean, I'm kind of, you're kind of flying blind when you do it. It helps to know where it is and you can sort of see where the, the blue, uh, uh, part of the plug housing or whatever. Um, you can sort of see that when you shine your light down through there and, uh, yeah, you kind of got to work your hand around some other harnesses and, and I think there's a heater hose or something back here. So, um, yeah. It can be done, it just takes a little bit of patience, and I'll do the next one faster if I have to do another one. So, take care and God bless.